as per the research only 4% of indians invest in stock market that means direct investment in stock market and when you compare it to us america almost 15% of people invest in stock market why is that so less percentage of people invest in indian stock market compared to other countries like like us and all this so in this video that's what i'm going to discuss basics of stock market stock market is really risky stock market is really gambling no one makes money is that stock market everyone loses money so that all will be discussed and same time i received many emails from new traders like asking basic question like di difference between investment and trading difference between nsc and bsc difference between fundamental analysis and technical analysis all this basics question will be discussed in today's video though it will not be very basic video that i will be discussing everything a b c d of fundamental analysis just i'll give you the overview of the stock market which will be helpful for the new traders for learning the basics but same time if you are experienced in stock market still i request you to watch this video so that you may also get something new in this video so let's get started with the basics of stock market as i said earlier only 4% of indians in stock market compared to 50% in us where 50% of population they are into stock market why is that vast different why is that very minimum percentage of only 4% of indians in stock market reason is go and ask anybody they will say that stock market is risky stock market is gambling stock market satta hai stock market everyone loses money we don't invest in stock market because stock market is very risky stock market is nothing but a gambling but is it really that stock market is gambling really is that stock market is so risky so they say that we don't invest in stock market we don't go to stock market we invest our money in fixed deposit where they get regular returns month after month but is it really that stock market is very risky is it really that stock market is a gambling so now i'll show you couple of the charts so you yourself will decide whether stock market is really risky stock market is really gambling okay what you see here is the sensex from 1995 till 2017 okay i got this uh, data only till 2017 sensex is the sensitive index of bombay stock exchange which will tell you how stock market is performing what you can see from year 1995 till year 2003 you can see that market is stagnant right neither going up or going down is stagnant and after 2003 what happened from 2003 till 2008 it was in full bull run but what happened after that crash how much crash from around 20000 it went below even 10000 that mean market crash from 50% but what happened after that yes people lost here but after that everything whatever was lost was regained that mean everything was covered can you see that here it fell and everything was recovered everything whatever loss was recovered after falling from here market did not kept on going down it recovered and after that over the period of time it even crossed that barrier which was the high of 2000 and went till 30000 after that again it fell and again it recovered and even went above 30000 in 2017 you can see that even it was even it recovered everything and closed above 30000 and what we are trading currently now in 2020 i am recording it in 2020 we are sensex at 40000 so what does it says it says that even though market can crash but market recovers its losses crashed recovered again crashed recovered again and now we are at 40000 sensex from where we are in 2003 we are around 3 to 4000 and now we are at 40000 and if you look at this chart overall what you see that market movement is always uptrend right it's not always downtrend even though there can be a crash in between overall market movement is bullish okay that is what i marked this arrow that mean overall market movement is always bullish that means stock market can have crashes in between but over the long run it is bullish now let me show this chart this is nifty this is nifty chart what is nifty nifty just like sensex it is a national 50 index from the national stock exchange sensex from bombay stock exchange nifty from national stock exchange same it will also show the 
stock market performance now look at this this is from 1996 1996 it gave negative return let us compare with the fixed deposit fixed deposit how much you'll get around six to eight percent right per annum now let us see how stock market performed over fixed deposit yes in year 96 stock market underperformed fixed deposit market underperformed by one percent but next year what happened in 97 it went by 20 percent compared to what you get fixed deposit it is overperformed and in 98 it underperformed right compared to your fixed deposit but what happened in 1999 it went by 67 percent in one year where you get six to eight percent in fixed deposit but year 2000 and 2001 was not good for stock market but in 2002 it gave small positive return how much three percent 2003 it gave 71 percent return compared to what you get in fixed deposit six to eight percent you got 71 percent return in a single year in 2003 even 2004 you got 10 percent 2005 36 percent 2006 39 percent 2007 54 percent okay for next six years it gave positive return but in year 2018 stock market fell by 51 percent then what happened next year it recovered everything 2008 it fell by 51 percent but 2009 it did not even just recovered but gave you additional return also see 51 percent it fell but 2009 it went by 75 percent in a single year and 2010 another positive return that is 17 percent but in 2011 it fell again but 2012 what happened again it recovered and covered all the losses 2013 another 6.8 percent another positive return 2014 31 percent and 2015 it fell again how much by four percent but in 2016 it again positive return 2018 it gave three percent 2019 it gave 12 percent that means overall it shows that market can fall for one or two years but it recovers very quickly and most of the time it fell next year record fell next year record fell next year record it can give negative return sometime but you have patience to don't get panic and hold on to your investment provided you invested in good companies or if you invested somewhere here when market was in 51 percent down then next year you would have made a huge profit total how many years we are calculated from 99 till 2019 that means 24 years 17 years it gave you positive returns by investing in stock market and seven years it gave you negative returns so that means stock market tend to give you positive returns compared to giving you negative return if you look at the long term whenever it gave you positive return huge positive returns 71 75 54 67 compared to only once it gave you huge negative in year 2008 otherwise it was small negative returns okay so next time what you should do you should not get panic when market is falling like this in fact it is the best time to invest because market tend to recover in a year or two and likely to give you huge profit like this now let me show you some of the stocks how it performed over the period of time this is hdfc bank if you invested 20 rupees in hdfc bank in year 2000 it would have given you return of 1300 rupees so 20 rupees would have become your 1300 rupees you would have got 65 times of return by investing in hdfc bank that means if you invested 20,000 rupees in year 2000, now you would have been richer by how much? 13 lakh rupees in HDFC bank. This is Asian Paints. Asian Paints had you invested 40 rupees in year 2004 and by 2019, that within next 15 years, it would have become. So your money multiplied by how many times? 45 times. 40,000 invested in year 2004 would have become 18 lakh rupees in year 2019 that is within 15 years this is bajaj finance if you invested 70 rupees in year 2010 next 
10 years that in year 2020 it would have become 4200 that means how many times your money would have multiplied by 60 times investing 70000 rupees in year 2010 would have become 70000 of your investment in bajaj finance would have become 42 lakh rupees in year 2020 within 10 years 70000 would have become 42 lakhs can you expect that kind of return in fixed deposit no right so now you are thinking that that mean in stock market just invest whichever stocks you want and hold it for 10 15 20 years and you are going to make big money no sometimes you can lose money also look at this what is this reliance capital stocks if in year 2003 if you invested 50 rupees in 2008 it went to 2400 rupees and what happened after that it crashed in 2008 and now what is trading at 2020 it is trading at 50 rupees that can also happen in stock market you can make huge money but you can lose everything also so what is important important is the knowledge you should have knowledge about the stock market you should know the fundamentals of the companies so let me give you one last example of this stock this is Arcom Reliance Communication. It was trading at 800 rupees in year 2008. So if you have invested 80,000 rupees by taking 100 shares of Reliance Communication, what is the worth now in 2020? It is trading less than one rupee. It is trading at around 80 paisa. So what would have become your 80,000 rupees now? It would have become lesser than 100 rupees so that is what stock market is you can make huge money or you can lose everything so important is knowledge on stock market knowing which stock to buy which stock not to buy and when to buy and when to sell okay now you decide whether stock market is risky or no stock market is gambling or no money can be made in stock market or no my answer is stock market is gambling for people who don't have any knowledge on investment or trading and stock market is business for people who have knowledge on stock market now next question can one really be rich in stock market are there people who made lot of money in stock market or everyone loses money in stock market one of the richest person in the world who is that warren buffett you know warren buffett right one of the richest person in the world he is known to be worth 18 and billion dollars where he has made so much money from stock market so you may say that warren buffett from us what about india is there any indian investor who also made lot of money then you must have heard of rakesh junjunwala if you have not heard of him then go to google and search for rakesh junjunwala and you can see that how he has converted from 5000 rupees to 19000 crores from the stock market he has started with 5000 rupees in stock market and now he is worth of 19000 crores okay so that is what the money rakesh junjunwala made in stock market and rakesh junjunwala known to be warren buffett of indian stock market so not only rakesh junjunwala there are many other successful investors who have made millions and billions in stock market to name you a few mr vijay kedia one of the successful investor in indian stock market the next is mr ramesh damani who has made millions and billions in stock market then mr ramdev agarwal who has also made millions and billions in stock market you must have not heard of Ramdev Agarwal, but you must have heard of Motilal Oswal, right? He is the founder of Motilal Oswal. Then there is Radha Kishan Damani. Who is Radha Kishan Damani? Radha Kishan Damani is the one of the millionaire and billionaire in Indian stock market. You also must have not heard of his name, but you must have heard of D-Mart, right? You must have done some shopping in D-Mart. So what is that D-Mart? Mr. Radha Kishan Damani is the founder of that D-Mart. And along with that list, there are so many people who have made millions and billions also in Indian stock market. So what it shows? It shows that if you have good knowledge, even with small amount also, you can make big money over the period of time. Now, whether you want to become an investor or trader, if you want to become an investor, then you should be good in fundamental analysis. What is fundamental analysis? Fundamental analysis will help you to know the which company to invest. What is the fair value of that company? So whether it is overly priced or it is underpriced, what is the financial health of the company? What is the future prospect of the company? You should be able to read the balance sheet of the company. You should be able to read the annual report of the company. All these are fundamental analysis. So you should be very good in that. Then you can become a fundamental analysis and you can invest in good stocks. What is technical analysis? Technical analysis is mainly about the 
reading the chart reading the chart and deciding when to enter when to exit if you want to be good long term value investor then you have to be good in fundamental analysis so now question is if you want to become a good investor only you have to learn about fundamental analysis you don't have to learn about technical analysis no my advice is you should also have basic knowledge of technical analysis by knowing technical analysis it will help you to get the right entry you will know when to enter in the stocks maybe you are a long term investor maybe you decided i'll hold this stock for next 5 to 10 years by knowing technical analysis you can enter at the right price at better price at discounted price how you can see in this chart now along with fundamental analysis you should also have basics of technical analysis so it will help you in entering at right price entering at discounted price look at this chart this is hdfc bank 20 rupees went to 1300 rupees in next 20 years but where you should enter that is important will you enter here now i am not saying it's a bad entry entering here because market hdfc bank has been coming with good results fundamentally strong stock but entering here i would not suggest where i will suggest i will suggest entering whenever hdfc bank touches 20 ema this is monthly chart okay this is monthly chart and this is 20 exponential moving average on monthly chart so why i am saying entering here would be good look at this chart from year around 2009 since 2009 hdfc bank whenever it came to 20 ema it bounced it came near 20 ema it bounced 20 ema it bounced 20 ema it bounced near 20 ema bounced here near 20 ema here again near 20 ema it bounced so what it says it says that most of the time hdfc bank whenever comes near 20 ema chances of bouncing is higher so that mean best place to invest is somewhere here that is what technical analysis technical analysis will help you in knowing the best entry location best place to enter for example even if you are invested here still you don't made profit by now but investing here would have help you to get better price at discounted price so that you could have bought some extra shares right buying here was not a good decision buying here would have been good decision if you want to be investor and good knowledge of fundamental analysis knowing basics of technical analysis can help you in entering at the right price if you ask me which is better trading or investing you can make huge money in investment compared to trading why because investing is for long term you have to wait for 5 years 10 years 15 20 years then there are chances that you can make huge money in investing value investing long term investing then how trading is helpful trading can help you in generating monthly income suppose you are a person who want to quit your job and you want to enter in stock market you need money right to run the house to continue the same lifestyle what you had when you had a full time job so for that trading can help you trading can help you to get the monthly expenditure to replace your salary what you are getting in your job or you are already into full time job and you want to generate additional income along with your jobs trading is mainly for generating your monthly expenses and investment for the long term if you ask me big money can't be made in trading big money can be made there are big traders who also makes lakhs of rupees per day not about months per day also there are traders who make such a big money but thing is that they also take bigger risk many people ask me should i become a day trader or swing trader which is better now what is the difference between swing trading and day trading day trading is like a 20 20 match and swing trading is like a test match so that mean like how 20 20 match everything gets over within 20 hours right but test match it goes on for next 5 days and you have enough time right but in 2020 you have to be very aggressive you have to be very fast same thing like day trading everything gets over from 9:15 to 3:30 whether you buy it or sell it by 3:30 you have to close your position in swing trading you can carry forward your position that mean you can carry forward till even the till the last week of the month if you have taken a monthly option or if you bought the futures but in day trading you have to square off your position on the same day another advantage of day trading is you don't have overnight risk that mean if you bought the position today at 9:15 by 3:30 you square off your position after that you are free but being a swing trader suppose you bought bank nifty or you bought bank nifty futures and you kept stop loss at 100 points and you went long okay you bought bank nifty and market closed you thought next week you will sell the bank nifty because you are thinking that market will go up 
but what happens some news comes in same night and all global markets asian markets indian markets next day when market opens it opens big gap down maybe 500 points gap down and you already bought futures you must have kept your stop loss 100 points but stop loss won't get triggered because of that gap down 500 points gap down that means you may end up with a big loss if there is a big gap up or gap down and it's against your position so that risk is always there in swing trading but day trading that risk is not there there is a risk in their swing trading but also you, you have that advantage of carry forwarding your position for additional days but in day trading you have to square off your position same day so that is the difference between day trading and swing trading now you decide whether you want to become a day trader or a swing trader okay now the last one which instrument to trade should i trade in stocks should i trade in indices should i trade in commodities or should i trade in forex again depends on you if you ask me i like trading in indices so nifty and bank nifty in indian stock market are indices you can trade in nifty and bank nifty through futures or options so i prefer trading in indices but you can trade in stocks you can trade in indices you can trade in commodities and you can trade in forex as well so it is up to you which one you want to trade as i said i prefer nifty and bank nifty i prefer indices but you can also trade in stocks i never traded in commodities or forex so i'm not the right person to give any knowledge on commodities or forex but stocks yes i traded initial years but now i purely trade in indices as of now because nifty and bank nifty have very good liquidity okay what is liquidity liquidity mean when you buy or sell slippage will be very less so that's why i prefer nifty and bank nifty as per my experience says that predicting the movement of nifty bank nifty easier than stocks because most of the stocks follow the overall market that means if nifty is going up then you will see most of the stocks also going up if for any case nifty is going down then most of the time stocks also goes down until and unless some news in that so i prefer trading directly indices compared to stocks one of the advantage i see in a commodities market is it is open longer than stock market stock market opens from 9 15 to 3 30 monday to friday but commodities open from 9 till i think 11 55 pm so you can see that it is open longer than stock markets and forex also i think it is open from 9 till 5 o'clock i'm not very sure about that you can check in the google again because i don't trade in commodities or forex but i know that commodities market opens longer than stock market but finally my sincere advice is whatever you trade stocks commodities or indices or forex trade only in selected instruments don't try to trade in everything not like that today you'll trade in stocks tom tomorrow you trade in commodities day after nifty after that you'll try to trade forex don't do like that select any one instrument and try to focus on that that is how you'll get edge in the trading so that's it guys it's just a overview of the stock market i did not discuss anything in detail like fundamental analysis or technical analysis if you want to be good in fundamental analysis you can read some good books so there are very good books available in value investing long term investing you can read those books but if you want to learn day trading then i conduct day trading webinar with pivot points and price action which i given the link below this video where i conduct regular webinars mostly on weekends you can join one of my webinar and you can learn how to do day trading so if you are interested you can check the details below the video there is a description section i have given the link and if you are interested you can contact me through whatsapp or email and you can get the more details okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel below this video there is a subscribe button and share it with your trading communities and thanks for being with me and i'll see you in the next video very soon